UFC 214 is this Saturday. It is a jam-packed stack card, and we're finally getting the rematch that we've been waiting for. Daniel Cormier, the UFC light heavyweight champion, facing off for the second time against John Jones. John Jones coming off another long layoff, whereas Cormier, he just fought a few months ago. And DC, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good, man. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I know you've been really busy. First of all, I want to officially congratulate you on getting married because last time I talked to you, you hadn't been married yet. So, first of all, congratulations on getting married and Thank you. having all that. You know, I mean, you've really had a great year. I mean, you won your last fight. You get married. You know, life seems good for you right now, man. Life is perfect. I mean, honestly, you know, it's hard to say stuff's perfect, but... Right now, my life is perfect. Everything has been exactly what I've dreamed of as a kid, you know? I've got everything. I've got a beautiful wife, healthy family. Uh, my parents are healthy. We've got security. Everything's great. Do you feel like at age 38, you are just in the best place in your life? You know, just physically, mentally, emotionally. Do you feel like, because you use the word perfect, a lot of, not a lot of people can say that. Do you feel like you are just at the peak of you i am and i mean not only just in my personal life but in my professional life too you know i've got the biggest fight of my career coming up i've trained as well as i've ever trained my weight is coming down better than it ever has uh i've got jobs outside of the octagon i've just everything just seems to be going in the right direction speaking of your jobs outside the octagon you work on the fox desk for a lot of the fights I know you've had a crazy gambit this week of interviews. I mean, I've seen you and heard you everywhere. So I want to ask you, from broadcaster to broadcaster, just you and me having a conversation here, what's the dumbest, worst question you've gotten this week? Uh, you know, honestly, it didn't come on a, it didn't come on, on, on a radio show. Today I was at 24-Hour Fitness, and a guy walked in, Spanish guy, and he goes, Oh, you're Cormier, huh? I said, yes. You fight Saturday. I go, yeah, it's a pretty standard question. And he goes, oh, and I'm like, what? He goes, the other guy, he's tough, huh? I said, yeah, he's tough. He goes, hey, be careful. And then he just left. The guy came in the door and told me that and he just left. <laughs> I was like, what? You That's it? That's all he had? Yeah, well, be careful. <laughs> that was it. He just left. I was like, Really? Yeah, you come here, huh? The older guy, you know, hey. I said, yeah, I am. Oh, the other guy, he's tough, huh? I said, yeah, he is. He goes, okay, well, good luck. Be careful. Did he left. like, what? Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. DC, Nick Koska here with you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I wanted to actually switch to your, your fighting and also your fighting style and, uh, more specifically. Uh, you know, you have the Olympic wrestling background, and you've turned into arguably a great Hall of Fame MMA career. Uh, do you take pride in the fact that wrestling has been at your base of fighting and that you've used it to be so dominant in your long time in the UFC? 100%. I love wrestling. I love everything the sport teaches. I love everything the sport gives to me, uh, not only me, but everybody else that does it, you know, the ability to grind, the ability to work hard, the ability to actually feel comfortable when you're uncomfortable. Because in most wrestling training situations, you're uncomfortable. So you have to get used to it. And, uh, yeah, man, I love it. It's, it's, the, it's the oldest and greatest sport uh, man has ever known. Uh, sticking with your wrestling there, DC. Uh, you know, some of your critics have claimed that your fights are basically not entertaining and boring just because you're using your wrestling to your advantage and you're kind of just, you, in my mind, you're you're pretty much fighting very strategically and you're being very smart with, while you're in the octagon. Uh, do you think that your success because of the way you fight and because you've been so dominant throughout your career, do you think they can eventually, you know, change people's minds and critics' minds and maybe younger fighters' minds about, the, about non-flashy ways of fighting? so to speak, you know, more so that they will adapt this way of fighting? I mean, I just fight, you know. I mean, I fight to, I fight the way that I'm able to fight. Uh, I go forward. I pressure guys. I take them down and I beat on them, you know. The crazy thing is, uh, since I've gone down to this division, is uh, I, I went down in, what, 2014, I think? Yeah. I went down in 2014, so in three years, I've got four finishes in this division. You know, I, 
I don't know what I'm not doing. You know, I finished Patrick Cummins, I finished Dan Henderson, and I finished Rumble Johnson twice. Uh, John and I went to decision, and Gustafson and I went to decision. Oh, and Anderson. So, yeah, I'm finishing people too, man. I mean, so I don't know what's not good about my fighting style. I go out there and I fight. We're talking with Daniel Cormier, the UFC light heavyweight champion, UFC 214, this Saturday on pay-per-view, Cormier versus Jones 2. Daniel, you've been pretty active this year. You fought just a few months ago, and now you're fighting John Jones again. How active do you like being on a yearly basis? Are you one of those guys who likes to be you know, two to three times a year, or are you just looking at it as, I just want to be as active as possible for as long as possible? You know, I, I I felt like my best years were when I was pretty uh, active, you know. So when the opportunity came to fight again so quickly, after April, I jumped right on it. I was like, man, you know what? This is good for me because it will allow me to keep my weight down so I won't struggle so much with the weight cut. Uh, it will allow me to feel uh, just more comfortable in the fighting environment, you know, and I had just had a training camp, and I was I was fairly healthy after the fight, so I was like, you know what, let's do it, man. I, I want to fight. Um, I could fight three times a year, but if I just fight these two, uh, I'll be fine with that too. Daniel, a couple more questions for you, and we appreciate your time today. You know, you look ahead to this Saturday, and to me this Saturday for you is more than just you're rematching with John Jones because you know you know how the media does. The media portrays it in their own little way, and they take a cut cut what you said and a cut of what John says, and they make a crazy promo out of it. It makes you guys sound like crazy people. To me, the reality is that this fight to you has much more meaning than just a promo can put out there. So, can you talk to the audience about what this fight means to you, Daniel Cormier? This fight means legacy. You know. uh I say time and time again that I've pretty much done everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts but beat John Jones. And uh, this weekend I get to finally do that. Once I've done that, you know, I, I've, 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 I've gone as high as I can in this sport. Now, that does not mean that I'm not going to continue to fight, but it'll feel good to, to accomplish everything or conquer everything that's been put in front of me. And really quick before we let you go, after you win on Saturday night, what is the victory meal? I'm going to go bowling. I've got all my family here. We're going to have a bowling, private bowling event, and we're going to eat some pizza, I guess. I have no idea. I have no idea what the uh, what the meal is. I don't know what the what, what it, what's catered there. but You're going to just go with what the bowling alley has? We're going to go bowling. Whatever, whatever the bowling alley has, right? Whatever the bowling alley, well, yeah, they're giving us the. We're gonna have a private room, and they're gonna bring like some food. So, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be on the menu, but I'm definitely gonna eat. I can't wait to get back to my house in San Jose to where I can make myself some food that I actually crave. Nice. That's UFC 214 this Saturday. Daniel Cormier, the UFC light heavyweight champion, defending his belt against John Jones, their second rematch. DC, you really appreciate the time today. We wish you the best of luck on Saturday. Thank you guys so 